what would happen if a professional yo-yo player used a square yo-yo? Well, today, I decided to give that a go. Surprisingly, the square yo-yo was able to go up and down, but would it be able to spin? Surprisingly, yes, but it generated a lot of wind resistance. But it worked, and I was even able to do all of my complicated string tricks. It was at this point, I wondered why yo-yos were ever round in the first place. Could square yo-yo technology be the next frontier of competitive yo-yo innovation? There was definitely an opportunity here. I then decided to test how smooth the yo-yo was, and then, ow! That's why no one uses square yo-yos. But have you ever wondered